Well, I usually answer that with I'm old and I didn't want to feel like it. I probably didn't want to look like it. And it was logical to me that a watershed moment is when your hormones fall off. And after that, everything is elderly or geriatric. So wanting to take hormones myself, I wanted to investigate the 800 pound gorilla in the room, which is always cancer, breast cancer for women, and decide if in fact taking hormones put me at any risk. And I was surprised that the decision came up, it gives me less risk taking enough hormones. If I believed everything I heard, I would never take hormones because high estrogen killed women, you could get breast cancer, everything about the story was bad. And this was almost 15 years ago. I decided that I could probably think it through. And if estrogen killed women, all young women would be dead. If estrogen killed young women, all pregnant women would be deader. So I decided it wasn't the estrogen. So I looked into hormones and the reality was that synthetic hormones seemed to have side effects. No one had ever looked at bioidentical hormones made from plants. So my choice was bioidentical, but not only was it important what you took, which kind you took, but how you took it. So the more I studied endocrinology, the more obviously I concluded that you should take it in a rhythm the way you produced it. The same way type 1 diabetics take insulin as they would have produced it when they eat. Women should take hormones as they would have produced it when they were young. And most of the side effects mysteriously never occur.